What is going on everybody? My name is Chris. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am today. I'm going to be bringing you guys a brand new Skate 3 video. So today we're actually going to be making a backyard skate park. You won't need any merge glitch nor will you need DLC. So this could be on all platforms or whatever if you're on PS3, Xbox One, whatever it may be. And for those who don't know, this is actually a park I made in 2015 where I did a monthly park. Um, so if you guys want me to do that, maybe I could do something similar to that. But anyways, let's just start and get this park build going going alrighty so we loaded up an empty park uh, the first thing that I want to do is actually fill up the prop meter the reason why I do this and I know some people have said you don't need to do this I just like to do it is uh, you basically just fill up the prop meter and what this does it helps prevent your game from freezing also I chose the downtown area just because I like the way the shadows are and obviously it's a really nice outdoor area for a skate park now I'm gonna be building my park actually floating up um, not on the ground because I like to merge uh, objects lower than the ground would let me if I was gonna not be able to do that um yeah if you've seen my videos before you know that I do this in almost any of my parks I never build on the ground we're just gonna be doing a basic backyard skate park. I don't wanna do anything too big. We're just gonna do a simple little street course. Maybe we'll add like a basketball hoop or something like that in the back, but um, I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, I already have kind of a plaza style in mind. I guess it wouldn't be plaza, it'd be more kind of, I guess street league, I guess would be the right way of saying what the park is. So I'm just gonna use these as uh, kind of a base layer and I don't know again I'm making this up as I go I know somebody commented that last time saying I said that about a billion times so I apologize about that um, so I'm actually gonna rise this up right there so there's uh, gonna be a top area you can skate a rail and then there also will be probably just a little bit of a ramp right here yeah so then there'll be like a down area we can add a Ooh, we'll add our down ramp like right here that'll be really nice and then we'll add a custom stair set we're gonna extend this out a little bit we do got to kind of give this park a little bit of length because I want there to be like a flat area right here and then there'll be kind of the area to basically shoot people on the other side and so it'll be probably like a quarter pipe area the way that I'm gonna actually be doing this park is I want there to be a wall right here and then this will be kind of where the fence is but I don't know exactly what the fence is gonna be yet so we, what we can do is actually work on uh, the stuff on the outside of the park and because uh, I'm still kind of thinking it up so I like to use the grass but I also like to color it and I'll probably change it but I kind of like this I almost want to go for it it kind of gives like an artificial turf look so I'm gonna actually move this down just a little bit and then we'll move this up and I'll do the same thing actually on this side. Oh, and of course it did not move its uh, lock in right there. And I apologize if I'm a little bit, my voice sounds a little bit weird. Um, I'm actually currently, I just caught, I'm in the beginning of a cold right now, which I'm a little bit bummed about, but you know, what can you do? So we got the stair set and the stairs will basically follow along of that. And I might merge that down a little bit. Um, let's see now. Uh, Let's see, we gotta add those stairs, so might as well add those. And we're probably gonna have to move this stuff over, but that is okay. Um, so I'm gonna need, I'm gonna use the plaza. I wanna make these stairs look clean. If you just watched my recent video where I was doing a 25 minute park build, you know that I use these stairs because they look a lot cleaner. This allows me to be a little bit more precise with these stairs. Then now all I need to do is just copy and then we'll paste and then we'll rotate it down and basically just uh, move it up a little bit more and then same thing will be on this side so we'll just lower these two down and it's just a little bit of a more of efficient way to make your stairs and that looks off a little bit uh, this is kind of a pain to make it look as even as possible because when you get it where it lines up perfectly it looks so nice and this looks pretty good that's lined up um, I think pretty dang well and so now we're probably just gonna yeah copy these now we're gonna copy all four of these and then just do the exact same thing what we uh, just did so now we can have eight stairs and the reason why I'm doing this is because I skate realistic and most of my videos are realistic so if you're new here uh, I hope you guys enjoy my content or I guess you know it's skate three stuff so 
but I'm not more like trick lining, I guess, uh, like X7 Albert. Um, the reason why I'm saying this for people who've been subscribed is because the last month I've gotten 2,000 new subscribers, which is insane. So I appreciate you guys for subscribing and checking out my channel. It really does mean a lot. Um, but I was just trying to uh, fit that right there, and I do need to add about two more stairs. Um, so we're going to copy and paste. And now one problem, which... Uh, on the merge glitch would not be a problem, but now since we don't have the merge glitches, we're gonna have to move that. Uh, see how I deleted the concrete? We're gonna have to line this up because it cannot merge in eight objects, even though it's, because it thinks, the game thinks that it's way more is merging in, which it technically is. Um, so we're gonna have to live around that, but that's perfectly okay since this park is gonna be a little bit more basic, but um, we're still gonna be able to move around with that. So we're turn snapping on, I think collision, See, right now it doesn't want to snap on, but I think if we turn collision on, there we go. Awesome, and I'm gonna lower this down just a little bit. So we're gonna lower everything else down as well, um, just so we can have everything lined up and equal, because I just want I just want it to be give it that really good, clean look. So we're turn snapping on, and I think collision off. Well, of course it didn't, there we go. Might just have to do it. Oh, there, we, you know why it didn't? Because it thinks this thing won't merge in. So yeah, we'll leave that right there, I can fix that. Um, even though nothing else is merging into that, the game interprets that I am, which is kind of annoying, but you know, what can you do about that? Uh, so I want there to be kind of like an up, like a, fl you know, you can skate up here, hit a flat rail, and then just hit, um, you know, a back area, like, you know, some type of ramp, a quarter pipe or something like that. Um, so I don't know if I want to make this, I do want to keep it the same length. But so for going around this, see how it already is merged right there, um, which is fine. So all we have to do is just fill up a gap right there. And we could, if we want to, honestly, is make the park have a gap so right there we can have kind of like a street gap which i think would be really cool and for one of the hip areas that i want to have i do want to merge some i want to have that like right about here so this actually might fit uh pretty darn well so we'll leave that for right now but if it becomes an issue we can definitely fix that later and i just want to skate these stairs real quick to make sure that they're actually coming out pretty darn good um, so we'll just do a kickflip and they're pretty nice. It's nothing too big, but this park will definitely be uh, for the realistic and hardcore skaters. Um, hardcore meaning the difficulty that we're playing on. So that looks really nice. I'm happy about that. And uh, though we're going to have to figure out something with the grass. And honestly, I, I want to make it line up as much as I can. And since it's kind of hard to figure out exactly the angle, what I can do is actually turn uh, snap it collision off or turn snapping off as well. And I'm basically just gonna rotate it so it covers up the stairs. And there we go, that looks nice. See how it's not, it's a little bit more uh, mellow. Small thing, small detail, but I think it does pay off. So now what we have on the other side is on this side right here, I basically just want it to be a fence like how I said before, and I don't know exactly what texture that I want to use, but I do want to do something that will look nice, and uh, I don't want it to look a little bit, mm, like, just, just doesn't feel right. Um, I do kind of like this, but the one problem that I'm going to have is merging everything in there. I want it there just to be almost just a, oh, what we can do, I think just something like this would look really cool. Even Yeah, I like this, so I'm going to merge this in and see, let's turn collision on, or snapping on. It doesn't even have to be that tall because I'm probably gonna be putting grass there. And this is a really nice, I've never, not that I never use this, but normally with DLC, I don't use uh, this type of prop piece. And the nice thing is it creates a different texture. I like it. We can add a grass pad right here, and we can also add another fence. So this will be just kind of like a building block, uh, if you will. Even though, and one thing I'm already not liking is, I feel like this thing, if I do have this gap, it'll be a little bit uh, too big, but I wanna build uh, the one area that I was talking about uh, before. And the way that this one, I, I think, will be done is either using uh, one of these, and then let me see how this will look. Because I think this will be something that would be, you know, merge this in the side of the wall. I think that's pretty cool. And um, but if I use this the ramp and the ramp hip, the thing might stick out um, pretty good. And I don't know if I want that. To, you know, that'd be covering a lot of the park. But I do kind of like. I don't know. Let's just see. Let's put it in. Let's see what it looks like. So see, like right now, it's not letting me merge right there. But you know, if we did something like 
this um that'd be kind of nice i see it almost seems a little bit too mellow but also i can't merge stuff in there and i want there to be something right here that sucks that i can't be like if it was like able to put right here of course uh that'd be nice but unfortunately it's not letting me so i kind of like this that looks that's a pretty nice oh i do gotta move this in a little bit and then let me make sure it's merged in on this side it's got to give the illusion that it's there's no seams there and then the nice thing is i think i should be able to put a pad right here and give me that hip that i want oh that's awesome I'm very happy. This is already getting the feel of like an actual skate park and I just want to test it just to make sure that the layout is coming out good. Oh yeah, this will be nice. Get a lot of room, even though again, it'll be a little bit smaller of a park, but I guess that's the point. This is for, um, I guess them a little bit more realistic. Um, we got this area. I like kind of how you can alley up there. Um, awesome. And I definitely will add a ledge there. There will be a ledge definitely coming there. Um, add the uh, quarter pipe that I want to make. And I don't want to do anything too big. But I also want to make something that will be a little finicky. So one thing that we can do is either just make it a little bit smaller. Which is perfectly okay. And we want to make sure this is lined up as best as we can. And then I'm going to mellow out the quarter pipe. So... It's able to actually skate better and then hopefully this should um, latch on so we're gonna turn snapping on and collision off still and we're gonna hit paste and then there we go so it snaps on we got our quarter pipe it might be a little bit it might just launch us but that's okay and now so I'm gonna use for the ledge I want to use the wide area the wide ledge because I won't be able to well I could add um, this this street pad here um, which would be fine or I can also do the reverse and use oh yeah this will actually work out really good so if I turn snapping off um, I can actually use the reverse side of this um, stair set and the reason being is I can countersink the grass and it'll just have a one top area right there so I don't have to make a, such a tall um, platform which it will be a little bit unnecessary so I'll leave that and then we'll turn snapping snapping on and there we go and I'm gonna make sure that the it actually works um, which that looks awesome actually um, obviously make sure skate it grinds and it doesn't give you too much speed which I do enjoy so we got that and now we're gonna build the grass park and I can't believe we're already 16 minutes in even though I'm not trying to you know time this speed build I feel like we're getting a lot done which is really cool I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the the speed, or I guess not the speed build, but the park build. Um, I enjoyed obviously doing a lot of these. So what we can do now is I wanna actually move, so I was thinking, I was about to do it right there, but the reason being is if I wanted to do a down area right there, it'd be kind of, I, don't, I just don't wanna merge it in. So I'm gonna line it up actually with the start of the platform so then I can have uh, the grass go down a little bit. And then we'll also, I'll probably just do a custom down area because if I just do one that snaps on like this grass bank, it'll stick out. And in my opinion, it just makes it look not, I wouldn't say ugly, but if I can hide the grass and make it countersunk, I'd rather do that. So I'm just copying this thing. And of course it doesn't want to merge in, which is fine because the game's thinking of, I'm doing way, I don't say advanced, but stuff that initially that the game is not ready for. Alrighty, so we have the grass area of the skate park and I'm gonna finish up with actually doing, putting the skate park together before we start doing the building and the surrounding areas behind it. Uh, so I think for the bottom part, what we can do is, uh, you know, if I had the DLC, I could uh, do a really cool kind of rock gap, uh, but unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to, but I can make this also a little bit sm uh, smaller of a gap. Um, so I'm just going to move this out just a little bit and I do like that how it's a little bit smaller and plus it gives you a little bit more just an extra room to uh, kind of set up for your trick. And now for underneath it I kind of almost want to do like some dirt and the way that I'll actually do that is uh, use uh, just a normal pad and we can switch it to brown and then we're going to do a style and factory. And then all we got to do is kind of flip it over, which not that it obviously it obviously doesn't look like, you know, the best, but it definitely does kind of look like, I don't know, dirt or something. If you throw like some uh, foliage underneath it, it actually doesn't look that bad. 
So that looks actually not too, not, not too horrible. And I think I'm going to definitely add a rail and a ledge here. And so I want to use, uh, I know if you guys watch the realistic part tutorial, I'm going to do kind of that same wide ledge. So the way you can do it, uh, is place one of these, uh, wide ledges upside down, and then we're going to select the downtown floating, uh, area. And if you see right now, it covers it and makes it hidden. So all we got to do is just, I hit LT fine tune and also I hit rotate, even though it's kind of necessary to basically slow it down. And then now it's hidden, so it looks just like a normal ledge. And now we can have it, so we can't go super low, but that's okay, because I do want to make this a little bit taller. And I also like how on the end that's facing the dirt area, it actually looks like it gets grinded a decent amount. And uh, the last thing we'll actually do is probably do a, um, you know, add some color to it, give it a color scheme, which I think will be really nice. Uh, and I don't need to make a, that long of a ledge here. I think it's nicer if it's a little bit shorter, but I do want to make it uh, centered as much as I can. And then I don't want to cover it too much, so it, it, I don't mind it hanging off a little bit because then it just makes it makes the park feel a little bit crowded, which I don't want to do that, especially in this tiny of a park. So I think the next thing what we need to add is a rail, and uh, I'm going to also add a rail in the middle because I just want to make it look like there's a middle piece to it so I think this is pretty much dead center right here so I'm gonna uh, raise this up so it's underneath it and then or I guess you know we'll have to eyeball it as best as we can uh, and this is up to you if you want to add a certain amount of these and that looks fairly in the middle and again it just kind of adds some extra detail not much it doesn't really I guess it's literally just an aesthetic thing and also I'm gonna add another uh, double rail um, like how I use in the 25 minute park build and then now I need to use collision on and then th there we go now it'll be uh, a okay and so I would add you know the rail right here which does make sense it kind of closes up the park but the problem is it, I have this hip right here so uh, hitting it from one side is going to be a little bit more difficult so I'll probably be using putting it like right about here so it's not super crowded and there's also still the gap area right there same thing I'll have this be in the center and uh, I kind of like the height right there let's just double check to make sure that it it's at a decent height and it looks not super low Oh, that's awesome. I think that's a really good height right there. And uh, now we can add some uh, foliage. So normally I would use that yucca tree, whatever, or not yucca tree, that small downtown tree. But we're going to have to kind of compromise here, which is okay. And again, I will probably use, if I use the collision on, see the thing is, I think it's merged in now um, with that area, which kind of stinks. So I might use something a little bit green like this. You know, it's unfortunate, but... And then I think if I turn collision off, let's see. Hmm, I can only really add like one plant there. So that sucks. There's only going to be really one plant, but that's okay. Then we're just going to have to deal with that. And then so the next area we're going to make is... So I would add a ledge here, but I also don't want to hit that area. So I'll probably add maybe a ledge uh, on this side and then just a rail right here. So I'm going to actually use the uh, kinked rail and we're going to essentially do the same thing what we just did where um, I'm going to double up the rails and then I'm also going to add the thing in the middle. And so we're going to do that. So I'm going to use the branding pole flag. Uh, this thing's really nice uh, just because it acts as the same as the rail where you can only merge these things kind of together. Uh, which is really weird uh, if you think about it just they decided that these things would be only be able to merge So we're gonna use another uh, kinked rail and then same thing just move it down a little bit Just for aesthetic purposes and we're gonna turn on uh, Collision and then we'll basically just make this down the center But again, I want do want to give it some height so I might stick it out just a little bit uh, so if you're hitting it uh, from this side that you do have some uh, time and uh, to set up for your trick. And I'm going to leave that right there for now because we want to add that ledge right there. And uh, we can do probably the same thing if we want to do a down ledge. Uh, I think that'd be kind of nice. And we can merge in either that. Let's see. We'll use the factory. And that looks really cool. Um... I'm, I'm a real fan, big fan of that, but then like on this side, there's just, you know, kind of, it'll probably just be, you know, a rail 
which is okay, but um, I don't like hitting it from that side. But if you're skating up it, uh, it'll look really cool. So let's just try it and uh, make sure that these, again, uh, skate well. Uh, same thing with like the impossible rail challenge. But it works well if you just have one. And the nice thing is this thing should skate well, should have no problems with this one. There we go, and then I just want to try. Ooh. And we uh, do the splits, but we got the basic layout of the park, and again, I can still add a ledge right there, and we can add a rail here. So for this rail, I think I might do a square rail, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to use this specific uh, one. I don't know, it's a little bit too wide, but see, I like this fancy down rail, but at the same time, though, look how big it is compared to everything else uh so one thing we can do actually to get around this is build like a pattern of some sorts but um we're gonna have that like we might kill the vibe of the park so might have to do just a custom rail and uh so we'll add that i'm gonna do the same thing with i did to the grass next to this i want to make sure that the incline is about the same as the stairs so I'm going to actually raise this up a little bit and I'm going to put these catwalk supports here and the reason being is that I want the supports to extend out uh, past on the rail because right now they're tech they're a little bit too short. So it kind of sucks that we have to have this a little bit long. I don't want it to because I don't want it extending out super far but you know it's what we're going to have to do and it actually doesn't look too bad. But I do want to raise it up and I might stick it out a little bit longer um, just because it doesn't look as nice. So we're going to highlight it and then actually I don't think I need to raise it up. I just need to extend it out so it's going a little bit more past there. And then now let's just try it to make sure it skates decent on uh, nice. We got the little gap area and then we have the uh, oh nice. That was a that was a dope trick. And then we got the hip right here and then all we have to do is just add a ledge and then we need to add an area on this side. I kind of like that, this idea right here, where we just leave it like that, um, but also we can mer merge this in a little bit more. Uh, so what we're going to do is the exact same thing on the other side, is uh, use that stair sets thing, and so I'm just going to use the, this, and then um, I'll change the color in a second once we uh, added everything in. And, no, that'll be too low. We'll leave that, but if I want to, or if I feel like it's mm, not going to skate as well, then we'll add something up right there. The next thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to raise this up a little bit because uh, I, I don't want it to be uh, going over that. And then we'll hit copy because I want to essentially build an enclosure all the way around the park. Just this grass on this side. So we'll hit copy and then we'll hit paste. And then I think we have to turn snap in. Yeah, collision off. Oh, is that one thing right there that does not want to merge together. There we go, and then, because I'll probably add a, art, not artificial, but like a fence right there to cut everything off. Ooh, that looks nice. And I can raise this and put it in the middle. And let's just see if this is skatable. This is skatable. See, that might be ungrindable because I did flip it up the other way that it normally is. Oh, that's so cool. So it will be skatable. Awesome, so we don't have to worry about that. And I think it'll be nice because, again, I like having the challenge of that. So since it's probably gonna be, I don't, I don't want to use the normal rail or I guess the normal fence, even though that would technically be easier. Uh, I want to use something that'll be a little bit nicer, you know. I think something like this, and then just add the grass and like, you know, add like a hill on the other side. I don't think it even needs to be a tall fence. Um, yeah, no, I like this. I actually, I think this will look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, and yeah, it'll just overall look a lot better. And what we can do actually is raise this one up as well. The final stuff we're gonna have to do is only gonna be really aesthetic, so it kind of might be a little bit boring, but if you wanna watch it, I will keep it in the video because I know people will ask me about it. I extended out this area over here and built the grass because I'll probably just have, you know, like a driveway and uh, something else right there. But yeah, now we gotta add kind of, this will start making the park feel um, close to being done, which is awesome. So I'll add just a mellow grass and then Let's see, you gotta pick a color. I like this, like kind of like a light green. And I just wanna make sure that doesn't extend out. Awesome, it doesn't. 
So right here, I wanna cover up this area. So I'm gonna be using, I think just, yes, we'll use this, turn snapping on, and it'll be the same color, and it'll basically just hide this seam right here. And we can do the same thing on this side. If you're having trouble with some seams, just turn your collision off, and then I just like adding this, it's fine, even if they can see a little bit underneath it. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go, yeah, with that light orange, and then for the ground, what color is this again? This is about, this is like the third, um, color and this part is completely up to you you don't have to do this this is more just I like doing it because I think it looks nice and it definitely does help if you know how to color your park and just make it look a little bit nicer um, but yeah you can uh, group everything together and then uh, basically like not copy it but that's the way if you want to see obviously I can't merge that in and we'll do the same thing up here I'm gonna probably do all the tops that same color there we go, that looks nice and same thing. We'll make this kind of like a dark. Actually, I feel like, yeah, these should actually, I, I don't mind them being like a total black. Everything's color now, now it's coming together. And again, with this, I like it being the white because once you add all the trees, we'll actually add the trees right now. Alrighty, so now we have the trees around it and it looks really nice. So I finished building the park. I'm really happy with it. I tried to go for like a contemporary build for the building. Um, there's a lot of different ways I could have gone about that. Um, but you know, I'm happy with it for right now. If you guys wanna, you can basically do it any building you want. Um, but all I did, I just added the, some uh, uh, water pads because it kind of looks like uh, glass. And then I added this area up here. You know, just to kind of give that contemporary look, kind of an overlook. I could have added like a pool or something if I had merge glitch, but I can only do so much. But it does give you a pretty cool area to look over the park over here. Um, I added some props around the park. And look, I just did a smith onto that. Um, so yeah, I think overall though, it definitely feels like a complete park. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked about this park. And uh, the nice thing is, I'm surprised. I, this has no DLC, which is kind of crazy to me considering I haven't made a no DLC park in uh, quite a while. So it's a little bit weird not ha even using that. So it'll be nice. I'll have some a new park to take you guys in an open lobby soon. But yeah, if you guys want me to maybe do, I can maybe do some type of filming video here or something like that to get more gameplay of me skating the park park um, just because I feel like this video is already a little bit too long so that's why I'm not going to include that much gameplay so I apologize um, but yeah if you guys are new here make sure you click subscribe I'll do more park builds in the future but anyways my name is Chris I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again soon peace